Hi, welcome to the Industry Astrology Full Moon Forecast for June 24th, 2021. The moon is waxing, the energy is increasing. How are you feeling? The moon is waxing, getting bigger and brighter, and on June 24th at 1129 a.m., the moon will reach its peak brightness and then begin to wane again. Excitable, anxious, overwhelmed with things going wrong. This full moon's got a lot of emotional energy to it and it's been coinciding with some pretty powerful turnarounds. Mercury um, going direct, Jupiter going retrograde, and the solstice. This Mercury retrograde in particular may have felt a lot stronger in the last few days for some of you because of Mercury's conjunction with the solar eclipse and its slowing velocity in the last part of its retrograde. So just in the last um, you may be weak or so, especially you might have been noticing more unusual difficulties, things kind of getting um, wires crossed and a little bit um, confused with things or maybe even a slow kind of brain fog. So Mercury pushing forward after the 22nd of June and then we have this full moon. There is a sort of push forward with this full moon. It feels like maybe things that have been deadlocked or um, maybe things you've been hesitating on can finally get some momentum. So this is a time to sort of plow ahead and push forward. Although this moon is in a very emotional and deep place that actually doesn't support big investments of money or um, big risks, but it is a very powerful full moon that can help you let go of the past, let go of any hangups, things that may have been holding you back or making you doubt yourself and move forward. The full moon is in the nakshatra or the area of the sky called Mula, Mula nakshatra. Mula is a very transformational nakshatra. It's actually in Sagittarius in the sidereal system, but it has a, a rather scorpionic energy I find because it's actually found in the stinger of the constellation of Scorpio. It's known as the root star, and it's very close to the center of the galaxy. And so there is something about a sort of core centered foundational force within this nakshatra. Not exactly an auspicious full moon for starting um, a business endeavor, but it is a very powerful time to be forgiving others, reconnecting, and yeah, pushing forward, getting a new start on an emotional level. It's auspicious as well because we are at the solstice and um, in the northern hemisphere, this is the midsummer full moon. So there's a lot of bright light right now for the people in the north. And that light creates a sort of portal of energy. It's generally an auspicious and uplifting sign when there's more light in the atmosphere. And so um, yeah, this is a, a good time to be bringing that light also into the inner world. Jupiter, also the guru, or the one who brings light into darkness naturally, has stationed retrograde just um, last week. And so there's so much power right now because Jupiter also rules this full moon for doing that inner work, for shining that light within. And yeah, letting go of attachments maybe that are not healthy um, and focusing on grounding yourself and what really supports you this is the root star the foundation star and so a lot of spiritual work can be done just by simply connecting to the earth connecting to your foundation meditating on that first chakra also on the theme of light we also have the um, Gayatri Jayanti, which is celebrated in some places of India around this full moon. This is said to be the birthday of the goddess Gayatri, the one who is the light bringer of day, or the goddess of the dawn, the goddess of the Veda. Saying the Gayatri mantra can help clear the mind <laughs> and um, clear us of negative thoughts and bring us closer to 
what it is we are meant to be doing at this time moving forward. Om bur bhuvasvaha tat savitur varhinyam bargo devasya dimahi diyo yo na prachordayat. So this full moon's got a lot of power to bring some light, some awareness into dark places and to bring sort of a peace or a letting go so we can move forward as well. And so this is a great time, like I was saying, for purification, grounding, spiritual work, forgiveness, connecting also with others. And let's just see what the tarot cards have to say about this full moon in Mula. Okay, so the first card that came through is the chariot. Moving forward. This really is a full moon that has a lot to do with the end of this Mercury retrograde. It feels like it's been a little swampy for some of you. I know it's been pretty intense. And so this full moon really is a lot about maybe making decisions, moving forward, stepping forward with life. And there's something quite nourishing about this full moon too because of all the light right the solstice energy the Gaia tree um, giant tea close by and also the the retrograde action of Jupiter which also is going to be growing in luminosity in the next two months now because when Jupiter goes retrograde it gets brighter and brighter and closer and closer so yeah there's something um, very like a replenishing and um, yeah nourishing about this full moon and the ten of cups it's the card of community and connection and then maybe something about this full moon is coming back to your roots right coming back to your foundation who is your family your true friends and community um, and what that means to you or also letting go of things that separated you maybe grudges or <laughs> finding forgiveness, finding a sense of peace, coming back to being part of something. And then, yes, the emperor, clarity, empowerment as well, making the best of a situation. My teacher used to say that Mula knows how to make lemonade out of lemons. <laughs> And so, yeah, trying to find a, what's good in people and in your the situation, whatever it is, and um, bringing that awareness, that consciousness, that light, and holding whatever it is in compassion. That's that's the way to bring power back to the situation. Compassion, self-compassion, and a sense of full acceptance. Take back your power by connecting to who you really are. Come back to your foundation and step forward from it. Strength returns when we own and forgive ourselves for mistakes and also forgive the mistakes of others. Find that sense of nourishment and compassion within. That's the way to freedom and true happiness. Okay, it's good. Some forward action after this um, crazy eclipse season and Mercury retrograde. Um, I'm Kari Field and I do Vedic Astrology readings online and tarot readings. I also give them by phone if you request. So if you'd like to book a reading with me, you can check out the description window. And also be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. It's free. 
Also, by the way, those readings are going to be raised in price very soon here coming up next month. So if you want to take advantage of my current rates, <laughs> check it out. This is the time to book. Um, also, uh, yes, if you haven't already, get on my newsletter. And I do offer pre-recorded horoscopes um, pertaining to different planetary transits at the moment on my website. Check that out. There is a Jupiter retrograde horoscope, especially interesting for people who are in Jupiter dashas or um, affected by Jupiter more, perhaps. So if you'd like to check that out, it's good for a whole year. Um, and they are pre-recorded horoscopes for you. It comes with also access to a calculator to figure out your Vedic sign. So check that out if you're interested and take care. I will see you soon on the next new moon coming up. Thank you.